hopefully you didn't close out these windows with your Curious Light and Curious Light 1 that we just moved over. Uh, if you did, just find them. We saved them in the final uh, directory of our UMP customers. Just go in there and double click them and move them back into position, both the 1 and the 0. Because uh, we forgot one step, or rather I forgot one step. We wanted to make this texture double-sided, the one we just put in here. So what you do is you, uh, once you get them back in position and you get them opened up, uh, select the armor so it pops up here and then select it here do the drop down with the little arrow uh, in, in I trust shape 8 go to uh, BS lighting shader property 13 and just select that alright now in this uh, window here uh, you're, you can scroll till you find on the under the name look for shader flags 2 alright and over here you can have, uh, you can see there's the SFC buffer white and SF15. Well, we want to add SF double-sided. So double-click here. You know, you can double-click anywhere in here and it'll show here and you'll see this little arrow will pop up. It's a drop-down list. We want SF double-sided. So drop down this list and check that box and then check here. All right, we got to do the same thing down on the one weight slided version. So select the armor. It pops up on the left. Drop down the list for it. Go to 13, the BS lighting shader property. Select it and use your scroll to scroll up till you find SF or shader flags 2. Here's shader flags 2. And I'm going to go double click anywhere in here and drop down the list until I can find SF double-sided and check that box and you can close that out. Now they're gonna, sh the texture is gonna show on both sides of the armor. Now, as I said before there was a mask over this uh, which I'll show you here in a little bit and it's gonna cause an SF double-sided anytime you use a custom Skyrim or a Skyrim vanilla mesh they added these uh, masks uh, for texture reasons. I don't know the exact reason behind those masks. I always just delete them because there's no purpose to them for me. Uh, and uh, if you do a SF double-sided, it makes that black. So when we get in game, this is going to be black because we did an SF double-sided. I forgot about removing this in the original tutorials. It's not important. Don't worry about it uh, for the purposes of this tutorial. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to resave these because we changed and added the SF double-sided property to both of them. So I'm just going to click File, Save As. I'm going to make sure it's still saving in my UMP Custom Armors uh, folder structure in the Female Final, and it's Curious Light Zero. It's the name should still be here. So all you should have to do is just click Save and click Yes to replace it, and do the same thing for the Curious Light underscore One. You're just going to go to File, Save As double check it's in UMP custom armors in the female final version of the hide curious light underscore one should still have the same name just click save click yes alright now they have a double sided texture and the textures are fixed so we can test them out in game um, you can go ahead and just minimize these two windows and close your original where we took the textures from just close that out we don't need that anymore um, and let's go ahead and test it out in game. Alrighty, to uh, test it out in game, we're going to have to copy it over. So if this uh, window isn't open, uh, open up UMP Custom Armors. Remember, we have to copy it from our working folder over to the Skyrim folder. So double click the female shortcut, uh, drag it off to the left, uh, go into data, meshes in your UMP Custom folder armor, hide, female, and we're working in the final version. And we're just going to select one and then control select the other one. And with them both selected, you're going to hit control C on your keyboard to copy. Select the Steam's uh, data folder where it's actually in game and hit control V and paste over. Copy and replace, copy and replace. All right, now we can test it out in game. All right, here we are in game. Our armor has a texture now. You'll notice your body texture actually is correct again. Um, you can run around with it, make sure everything, nothing should have been changed except we put it on the UMP's original body with the bones in the right place. Uh, had we not done this, uh, let me go into my inventory and de-equip these bracers. 
Had we not done this, there would have been this weird line right by the hands, and the hands wouldn't have matched up correctly. They would have been weird, uh, and you'd have seen like this gap between the arm and the hands. Uh, and this this is just common to NIF scope with 3ds Max. I don't know why. Uh, most people wear gloves anyways, but what you want to do is match that up by uh, you know moving the armor from the one you've been working with over to the right one. Again, like I said, there's that texture issue. See, kind of, it's kind of black on the shoulder pad now because I forgot to delete something uh, during the tutorials, like this little uh, invisible mask that's over the. Uh, shoulder in the mesh but don't worry about that it's not important for the purposes of this tutorial we're just teaching the basics so we can move on to creating brand new stuff uh, remember we made the texture double-sided so if I crouch now you can't see all the way through the skirt it's actually a double-sided texture now so there's texture showing on both sides if you zoom in uh, the armor actually looks real because textures are showing on both sides of it you know there's you can't see through it where you shouldn't be able to see through it, and that's a good thing. Uh, some of you are probably pretty happy because now you actually see the armor that you've been working with in game. Uh, I guess the newest version of uh, NIF scope uh, that you got uh, doesn't work right. I actually went back and got my uh, old plugin that I backed up and put it back in, so uh, when I'm working with armors, I can see the textures. I really don't know the fix for that. I don't know why it does it in uh, the version you installed. I'm sure if you Googled and searched, you'd find out. Uh, but it's not really important, because all you need to do is be able to see the armor uh, not pushing through the body, and you can see that even without textures pretty well. So now we want to just double check one thing. We want to double check and make sure that the weight slider didn't get screwed up uh, from our uh, little ordeal there in NIF scope so we're gonna open up the console by pressing the tilt key type show race menu hit enter and hit tilde again go to body uh, go down to your weight and when you push over if things blow up we screwed something up but they don't and ta-da we actually have a working armor that was customized we could have done anything to this armor we could have deleted the skirt and it would have all you know throughout the process and everything would have worked now, you know, now that we have textures working, we get an even better look at making sure nothing's poking through uh, the armor. Everything looks really good, you know, nothing's poking through. Armor looks great, you know, it uh, all seems to work great. Now, I want you to stop and think about what you just learned how to do uh, throughout these tutorials. Think about it. You took an armor that, uh, you know, you didn't create. You placed it onto a body and you put it in game and it works. You could upload this to the Nexus and people could download it and say, hey, now I have a hide armor that uh, I can use with the UMP body. And the UMP body is actually inside of it. Think about the possibilities here. Uh, we're going to be moving on now from these videos to actually creating brand new custom armors. I'm going to show you the basics. Now, you're going to have to use your own imagination when you make your own armors because the tutorial is going to be fairly basic. It's just going to cover... Uh, how to play around with polygons a little bit, how to use uh, you know, a, a, cloth mod uh, a cloth ability that 3DS Max has to create clothing. Uh, we're going to go through various ways of uh, creating different uh, parts of the armor. Also, these tutorials are going to uh, cover first person view, how that works, you know, because uh, technically this armor isn't set up for it. Well, it is actually because it's using the vanilla version. But let's say you had like some bracers really close, and when you go into first-person view, you want to be able to see that those bracers are equipped um, in first-person view, and you're like, they're part of the armor. I'm not talking about gloves. Gloves will show automatically. I'm talking about the armor itself. You want to be able to see that there's a bracer on when you swing your weapon for you know more immersion. Well, we're gonna cover all that. We're let's say you wanted to you know you create a brand new armor. Uh, using uh, the, the knowledge you've gained and you say well I want to make this armor craftable and uh, I want to be able to upload it to the Nexus so people can download it and craft this standalone armor uh, in game well we're going to be covering that in these tutorials so you'll uh, we're going to be covering helmets how to create a helmet we're going to cover how to create masks that are equipable with helmets you know that actually you can equip the mask and equip other helmets and still see your like little mask covering your mouth or whatever. We're going to cover that in these tutorials. 
just think of the possibilities though with what you've just learned uh, from these tutorials and maybe even explore a little bit on your own messing around with armors uh, from Skyrim just to practice you know we converted the hide armor we'll use this same set of tutorials and convert a different vanilla armor practice makes perfect the more you experience uh, how armors work with the Skyrim engine and the more mistakes and errors and uh, that you make uh, the better you're gonna get so when you actually do get into the next set of tutorials you're gonna be that much more pro at not making the stupid little mistakes uh, that I've been trying to help you learn to avoid so I hope you all have enjoyed the tutorial series so far uh, go ahead and feel free to comment and let me know uh, what you thought of the tutorials up until this point because now we're gonna start moving on to creating brand new armors all right, y'all have a lot of fun with this. I'm going to exit out of the game and end this video and go take a shower because I feel dirty. <laughs> I'll see y'all uh, in the next video.